So where are we at with Apple intelligence? Yay or nay? Some people love it, others have their doubts, but I'm not here to hyper hate. Instead, let's take a closer look at what Apple intelligence offers and how you can start using AI on your Mac today. Mac OS Sequoia marked a new era for Siri and through Apple intelligence, it's getting a new look. Siri now supports typing and can look for answers using ChatGPT, making you more likely to get answers to complex questions. Honestly, this is one of my favorite features because I don't really like talking out all of my commands. I'd rather just type it because it's just way faster that way. Apple did kind of tease that Siri's ability to remember the context and topics of your conversation, but with the latest update that has been delayed indefinitely. It seems Apple's commitment to privacy is the main reason behind this delay because they want to create a version of Siri that remembers less about you and does the job as well. There's much more AI goodness to get down to in this video, so make sure you subscribe and like this video for more Pro Mac tips. Okay, so I can't keep going further into this video without mentioning the new writing tools with this Apple intelligence update. Because for someone like me who is a very slow reader and a very poor writer, these new writing tools help me out a lot. It's truly one of my favorite features about this update. The new writing tools let you summarize, rewrite, proofread, and perfect your text without switching apps or opening extra windows. Seriously saves you a bunch of time. If your notes look a little bit chaotic and messy like mine usually do, well, these new writing tools can actually help you by having Apple intelligence create key points and make a list or a table. And on top of that, these tools don't just work in the notes app, it works everywhere that you would write something. So, so far we mentioned two AI tools that could really help our everyday living when it comes to reading, writing, or whatever it can be. AI tools need a lot of speed and memory to operate, so this is where clean my Mac comes to play. This program can clean out system junk, free up memory, and keep your Mac in the best shape. So you're always ready to take full advantage of Apple's latest AI features. The first thing I do every single day is to run Smart Care because it literally does everything I need to keep this Mac running up to speed to run these AI tools. So if you want, there's a download link in the description box below to try out Clean My Mac for free for seven days if you are interested. I highly recommend it. The third feature we're going to talk about is the ability to summarize notifications, and this doesn't just affect our daily lives, it more so affects our minute to minute lives. This feature is designed to summarize all of your multiple notifications, giving the gist of all of them. Although it promised a lot, it kind of does fall short when it comes to summarizing text messages. There are a lot of hilarious examples of how it completely misinterprets the context and delivers a very off summary. While this feature does show a lot of potential, it still needs some time and tweaks to make sure that it can summarize these conversations well accurately. On the same note, Summaries is very helpful in the Mail app and in Safari. In the Mail app, just open up any email and you'll see the Summarize button at the top. In Safari's reader mode, you can instantly generate a summary of any long article helping you get the key points without the endless scrolling. This fourth feature is great because now with Apple Intelligence, we can transcribe our long audio clips, whether that's recording a phone call or a meeting, and now that could be all be translated into text. You can record any audio in your voice memos app, or you can drag and drop any saved audio file into it, then click the transcribe audio button, which looks like quotations in the top right corner, to convert it to text. If you're looking for a specific word or quote in the transcript, and select find in transcript to find what you need quickly. This next feature is pretty neat too, because now you can clean up your photos in the photos app. While the new photos app does have its fair share of criticism, there is actually some good stuff in the app and I'm talking about the cleanup feature. Above the pretty basic editing features that you could do to an image, you can now remove unwanted elements from your photos using the cleanup tool. All you do is have to circle what you want to remove and let AI do its magic. It's kind of like a magic eraser, but simpler. And it does a surprisingly good job. The last thing that we're going to talk about are the new focus modes in this new update. Now you can just turn on do not disturb and just block all notifications that come into your phone. But what if you want to just set up a personalized filter that lets in certain notifications go in instead of just going into your settings and, you know, doing all the app permissions one by one, which could take a really long time. With Apple intelligence, we now have a new simple feature called reduce interruptions. As the name suggests, it uses on device intelligence to analyze what is really important to you and the other lower priority notifications as well. And then it sends the high priority ones and blocks the low priority ones. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like subscribe and comment down below what your favorite feature is on this update and I will see you in the next one.